Daily broadside, day 261. I think we need to start using those gender reveal cannons for more than just gender reveal. Imagine you go to the car shop there, a mechanic comes out and tell you about your car. Is it ball joints? Is it tie rods? And then he, bam, just blows out like a big burst of pink. It's ball joints, you know. Uh, your mom, you know, what are we having for dinner? Steak or chicken? Bam, just covers the kitchen in blue, you know. Just like we use them for like a bunch of other crap. We spend our life picking up confetti paper, you know. Because if you think about it, uh, if you're only using gender reveal cannons for gender reveal parties, you're really not even getting to use those things because it's a very small sliver of your life that are actually procreating and having children. And if you're old enough, uh, those things didn't exist when you were uh, having kids. So you just missed out on a whole thing. I was watching last night uh, Mitch Hedberg, and I've decided that I don't think he's that funny. Uh, he's got a couple little funny, you know, observational things that he said, but his whole thing, you know, I, I know he's dead and all that, but uh, I just I don't think I'm a fan. Uh, it's just not that great. And I don't like how he laughs at himself and the... The glasses and the hair just, they, they kind of look dumb. And maybe it's because it's 2022, I don't know. But I, I don't think I can get behind that anymore. I think I disavow ever liking that and thinking it was funny. And you guys that keep uh, ducks as pets in your house, y'all crazy, all right? Y'all ever seen a duck eat? I mean, it's it's like handing an Oreo to Cookie Monster. There's just crap going everywhere. You know, they have to eat at the speed of light, just water and food just going all over the place. And, it's like watching a Great Dane drink water. You know, just lapping it up with their fat little jowls and just crap splashing everywhere. I don't know why you'd want that in your house. And anybody that's ever been around a business near a lake that has, like, goose crap just everywhere, I imagine ducks are much the same consistency. I don't know why you would want that in your residence. And surely you can't teach a duck to crap in a kitty litter box. I don't know if that's really a thing, but... That's just a lot of stuff I don't want living in my house, and ducks are right up there at the top of that list. But and when you're running a forklift, you gotta be very aware of your limitations as a human being, okay? Watch the video of a guy that had, uh, he was going down this warehouse and trucking along in his little forklift, and he was going a little fast, and he went off of something and bumped off of some crap in the ground, and he ended up jumping out as it flipped forward you know, he's got the forks all the way in the air. I don't know what he was doing, but uh, he jumps out and it lands on top of him. And the cage obviously goes around him. He doesn't die. He probably should have, but he gets up in time to try to catch it. And I'm thinking to myself, what are you, Thanos? Yeah, The Rock, you know? Yeah, Schwarzenegger. Like, you can't lift a forklift. That thing's weighing 10,000 pounds. And with the momentum of it swinging forward, I'm not a scientist or a mathematician, but God knows it's got to weigh more than 10,000 pounds at that point. With, with the uh, inertia, momentum, whatever it is that multiplies mass. I don't know. I don't know what I'm talking about. And I watched a girl that, you know, they're unloading a pallet of water. Okay, a pallet of water. Those things are like a, a pound a piece, every every bottle, right? It's got to be like 100 of them on there, right? And 100 cases or something. And, uh, man, she it starts to go off the Tommy lift, um, you know, of a pallet jack, and she goes to catch it. And somehow it lands on her and doesn't kill her, but... I guess like two tons of water. Like y'all, y'all don't even go to the gym, and if you did, you couldn't, you couldn't bench press your own body weight, and you're gonna lift a pallet of water. That's kind of crazy. It's kind of crazy, people. You gotta, like I said, you gotta know your limitations. And Joe Perry, dear Joe Perry, man, for the love of all that is good, put a shirt on, man. Don't nobody want to see your 78 year old nipples. All right, we've seen them enough. You're just a shrivel up, Keith Richards looking weirdo. You look like half a woman. You got all this dark eye makeup on, and you just look weird, man. All the bandanas and the the flowing clothes, and just put a mask and a shirt on and play the guitar, and that's all we need to you for you know. That, that's all you need to do. There's nothing else that we need from you. We've seen enough of your uh, shaved chest for the last 70 years that we're we're all good over here. Gross.